It's today. I was so nervous last night that I couldn't sleep well. I'm about to arrive at the wedding hall. Where are you now? Meet you at the entrance? Hey, I'm waiting at the entrance. Are you already in the bride's room? If you haven't arrived yet, I can wait for you at the front desk. Can you reply to me? Hey, what are you doing? It's already time. You haven't checked your phone? Answer me. The staff is waiting for you. What's wrong? You don't have to tell me over and over again. It's because of you. It's time to get dressed. We're going to miss the ceremony. Why aren't you here? Did you get the time wrong? No, not like that. Then what? I'm canceling today's wedding. Huh? I mean, we're breaking the engagement. <laughs> Stop telling jokes. What are you talking about? I'm not joking. I'm serious. Today is our wedding. There's no way you can do something so selfish. Then when is it okay? Are we getting married and then get divorced? That's extra work. It's better for the guests if we cancel now so that they can avoid extra work too. Are you serious about canceling the wedding? Of course I am. How can you joke about such a thing? Relatives and guests will be here soon, you know. I don't give a shit about that. We can just ask the staff to tell them sorry. That's not the point. They're here to celebrate us. We're breaking off the engagement and you want them to celebrate us? That's too chaotic. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What? Even you were looking forward to the wedding so much. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? There are some things it's better you don't know. <laughs> don't be silly. You suddenly break off the engagement and cancel the wedding? How can I understand immediately and leave? If you want to know so badly, then let me tell you. I met this cute girl. <laughs> what? And not just any pretty girl. Her dad is the owner of a high-end accessory company. She's the only daughter, so he wants her husband to take over the business. I'm the future president of the company. <laughs> the only daughter of a high-end accessory store? What? No, nothing. How can you break the engagement for a reason like that? What do you mean? It's the best reason, isn't it? I'm the next president of a high-end accessory company. My future is secure. Do you really love her? Of course I love her. <laughs> Everything is ideal. Marriage with such impure motives will never work out. You'll fall apart and end up in tears eventually. Don't be a sore loser just because I dumped you. Excuse me? I understand. You were supposed to be the bride today. <laughs> of course, you want to talk back at me. <laughs> You're so annoying. Well, I'll let you talk like that. I'm feeling great to have found the best partner. <laughs> I won't be secure if I marry you. This is the best chance that could ever happen. <laughs> well, if you insist, then fine. Don't regret it. Huh? How can I regret it? I'm going to be the happiest groom in the world. <laughs> hey, this is enough. A hundred calls in the middle of the night? Give me a break. You have to listen to me. I have nothing more to say to you. I'm going to have a lawyer handle the financial details of our broken engagement and cancelled wedding. I'll let you know when it has been decided. Please, pick up the phone. How persistent. This is making me neurotic. What if I end up suffering from PTSD? I'm the one who has to suffer from it. Not my business. You knew about this, didn't you? About what? 
you knew her dad and that she was his daughter. Oh, about that? If you knew, why didn't you tell me? I had an idea when you told me about her, but I wasn't sure. But I guess I was right. Her dad is a friend of my dad's. He used to play with me when I was little, and he's been a big help to me. I've never met his daughter, though. What? Of course, I invited him to the wedding. You're lying. But then, the wedding was suddenly cancelled, so he called my dad to ask what has happened. And as we were explaining the details, that's how he figured out. How is that possible? I was surprised too. Who could imagine you would choose his daughter? <laughs> right. He was very upset. He said he would never accept that his daughter is about to marry the man who hurt me and betrayed me. He even said he would sue you if he had to. <laughs> sue me? You've got to be kidding. Hey, do something about it. Why would I? Why? Because... because I'm in trouble. You're not taking this seriously because you think it's somebody else's business. Well, I am somebody. Our engagement is broken. I'm a stranger to you. This is none of my business. How can you be so cold? Don't make me say it again. I have nothing to do with you. It's all your own fault, isn't it? It's... yes, but... I'm discussing with my lawyer about us, so I'll update you as soon as we've made a decision. Well then. Hey, please, answer me. Can you please stop it? I'm really starting to feel neurotic. Her dad's... I mean, the CEO of high-end accessory store's social media is going viral. Oh. Oh? What does this have to do with me? She posted a picture of me on her account, the one in front of the store, and the CEO reposted it with a message saying that his daughter was scammed. Oh, well, it's true. They made me into the bad guy. You are the bad guy, right? At least to me and him, you're the worst. A bad guy? I didn't mean to. Maybe you didn't mean to, but it turned out that way. In order to get what you wanted, you betrayed your fiancé, canceled the wedding, and cheated on me to marry that girl. Even the world wouldn't be at peace. I just met a girl by chance who happens to be the daughter of a CEO, right? Even though you had a fiancé? Even though the wedding date was set? In fact, it was before the wedding, so you don't have to blame me so much. Don't tell me. Talk to her dad. Can I talk to you? I'll stop calling. Just give me a reply. I'm in a lot of trouble, please. Just listen to me. God, if you don't stop this, I'll turn you into the police for disorderly conduct, okay? Don't say that. Please, just listen to me. She just asked me for compensation. I haven't done anything wrong to her, and why is she asking for it? Her dad told her everything? What? She didn't know anything, right? That you had a fiancé or you cancelled the wedding. That's why she posted that picture on social media, right? Yeah. Maybe her dad told her the truth by reposting that picture. Huh? Well, it's your fault. <laughs> what the hell did I do? Even though you had a fiancé, you approached her and asked her to marry you. And, you know... When you find out that the reason was to be the president, most women would be hurt. I believe she felt the same way. And many people agreed to it on X. But we weren't officially engaged yet. And of course, I hadn't even met her dad, so how could I be sued? You left the evidence that you were engaged. 
It can't be helped. Evidence? You secretly stole my engagement ring from my drawer, didn't you? Did I? I work in a restaurant, so I'm not allowed to wear a ring on a daily basis. That's why I kept it in a drawer. And it was gone. You took it, didn't you? That's... I was desperate to keep her from leaving me, so... You're an idiot. <laughs> if there's any physical evidence, you can file a lawsuit for compensation with the court. Huh? Is that true? Besides, let me send you a picture. Marry me. I'll make you happy no matter what. And let's help your father together. That's what it says. This... These are the texts I sent her. Why do you have it? Her dad took a screenshot and sent it to me. He said, this is also a proof that this daughter was scammed. <laughs> oh no. When she found out the truth, she was so shocked that she got sick. You're lying. She got sick? Oh, you didn't know? I mean... You can't reach her in this situation, can you? Plus, it seems like I'm blocked, so I can't get any information about her. Of course you are. So hey, can you negotiate with her and her dad? Tell them I really want to marry her. No, why would I do that? My engagement was broken and the wedding was cancelled by you. I'm deeply hurt. Then who am I supposed to ask? I don't know. Please, I want to have a secure future as a CEO. That's why I cancelled our marriage. If this won't happen, then everything is going to be in vain. Wow, look at that self-centeredness. Her feelings, her dad's feelings, my feelings. You don't think about anything. You just want to be president, don't you? That's right. I've always dreamed of sitting in the president's chair at the president's office. I guess dreams do come true if you wish hard enough. To be honest, I had given up. I never thought my luck would turn around at a time like this. I don't want to waste this chance that has come my way. So you have to convince her and the president. Don't ask me. You deserve to be sued. I have nothing to do with this, so don't reach me anymore. Hey, what's this all about? Say something, you money thief. What do you mean, money thief? That's so rude. God, will you stop calling me? Hey, it's too expensive to charge me for breaking off the engagement. What do you mean, $50,000? Are you trying to extort money from me? It's not that much. Did you look through the documents? I did. It does say $50,000. You only saw the amount, right? Did you look at the breakdown? Huh? I knew it. That fee is not just for breaking off the engagement, but also includes the wedding expenses, the honeymoon cancellation fee, and the fee for the new house. We decided to go extravagant and put a lot of options on the wedding since it's a once-in-a-lifetime, remember? Oh... You chose four dresses for me, too. I did choose some cocktail dresses. You decided to take a cruise for our honeymoon so that it will be the most memorable one ever. It went way over our budget. And on top of that, you wanted to live closer to your office, and you signed a contract for a rental luxury apartment. I remember the rent was also very expensive. See? All of these things were cancelled on the day. I'm sure you can get a rough estimate, but it's not less than that amount, right? But we didn't even have a wedding, and we didn't even get married. How can it be such a large amount if we cancelled in advance? You don't know? It's written in the terms and conditions. 100% will be charged as a cancellation fee if you cancel on the day of the wedding. 50% for the travel. Why do I have to pay the full amount? Isn't it normal to split it with you? 
What are you talking about? It was your unilateral decision to cancel in the first place. I have nothing to do with it. You're the one who deserves to pay. Are you kidding me? There's no way I can pay that amount of money. This is your parents' offer too. Your parents were so heartbroken that day. They couldn't tell how sorry they were that their stupid son cost this. They didn't know how to apologize to me. My mom and dad? Of course. They were at the wedding not knowing anything. What? You're too easygoing. They want you to pay what you can afford and they'll pay the rest for now. And they said they'd make you pay them back for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh no. How hard do I have to work? If that girl files a lawsuit for compensation, you'll have to pay even more. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way. I'd be in debt trap instead of CEO. That's a nice future. <laughs> That's not good. You think this is somebody else's problem. Because it is somebody else's problem. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You did all this on your own, remember? Do you finally understand what you've done? I didn't mean it like this. I just wanted to be a president. I don't want that to become a life of paying off debts. I don't care what you say. You've done this. I'm sure her dad won't just let you get away with it if his daughter got sick and hurt because of you. <laughs> I suggest you deal with them with sincerity from now on. <laughs> I can't. I'll never be able to pay them all. What am I supposed to do? You don't have to decide it right now. Why don't you take your time and think about it alone? It's none of my business. You. How can you say such a cold thing when I'm depressed? You've done much worse to me. Do you know how I felt at the wedding hall being alone when you canceled everything? That. I'm sorry. Even though you say you're sorry now, it won't change anything. Please, forgive me. At least try to convince her and the president not to file a lawsuit for compensation, please. I don't see any sign of apology in you. I don't care as long as you pay me what I'm asking for. That's... you're too cold. I have nothing more to say to you. I will block you after this conversation. We will never meet again. Well then, goodbye. I was finally able to escape from that crazy phone calls. He paid me the fee as he promised, and it was all over. After that, his parents scolded him a lot and even disowned him, telling him never to come back to their house. I am sorry for his parents, but he got what he deserved. On top of that, the president, who could not forgive him, filed a lawsuit against him for compensation. He had to pay it too because there was a lot of evidence left behind. If it were true, he would have been charged with theft of the engagement ring, but I let that go. I heard from his parents that he is now working from morning till night at a big factory with a dormitory in the countryside, in order to clear the debts. I sincerely hope that he will be able to pay off his debts while his parents are still in good health. I would like to make a fresh start and devote my days to work again. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.